Now, bomb attacks across Baghdad have killed at least 16 people and injured about 70 today. Sadly, attacks like this almost happen daily. Listen to this. Almost 2,000 people have died in the first two months of this year alone. But it was one attack seven years ago that resonated strongly with a group of artists. A bomb ripped through the heart of Al Mutanabi Street in Baghdad's literary district in Baghdad, killing 30 people. Artists from all around the world started a collaborative project to express solidarity with the victims of the attack. And with me now is Iraqi poet and playwright Hassan Abdul Razak, who is involved with the Al Mutanabi Street project. Thank you very much for being with us here on Impact. Why did that particular incident on that day resonate so strongly with you? Well, it's, it was an attack on a street in Iraq that represents the culture of Iraq. It's a bookseller street. There is an, an old famous saying that in Egypt they write, in Lebanon they publish, and in Iraq they read. And Iraq was um, very much involved in, in that. So the attack on the street uh, was an attack on culture. And that moment resonated, I think, with artists around the world, particularly people who started the uh, Amutanabi Street Starts Here project, because um, you can take from it, it becomes a kind of a metaphor, really, for any attack on culture or any suppression of thought and ideas. Tell us a bit more about the project. So uh, the project, I'm not a direct member of this project in terms of organization. It was started in San Francisco by uh, a gentleman called Bo Bosele, who is a poet and a bookseller, and he uh, felt an affinity to, uh, to this incident because he thought if I was an Iraqi, my book uh, store would be on Al Mutanabi Street. And, and he was expecting somebody to respond to this in an artistic way, but it, it didn't happen, so he took the initiative and started this project, which was first uh, they published an anthology of poems and writings from um, writers from all sorts of background, and then there was an artistic project. I got a call from Bo a while ago. It was a call that he decimated to, to a, a, a wide range of artists around the world to organize events to commemorate the seventh anniversary. And this resonated with me because almost immediately after the event, I started working on a play uh, that is still yet not finished because it, it, it's, a, it's a quite a big epic play uh, called A Fire Blazing Brightly. Um, that is about an imagined um, Iraqi artist who goes back to Iraq and gets caught up in this, in this bombing. And it's a play that examines what can an artist really do in such a situation. I mean, is that important for you to try mm. and convey? Because what we see most days is just these horrible attacks where people die. That's almost it at the moment. It feels like all we get from Iraq is the security perspective. Do you think that there's so much more that you can portray through literature and through poetry and Well, I, I often think um, that, uh, for example, the greatest thing that will protect Iran from an attack, say, from the West, is not its nuclear program. It will be its films. Because the distance collapses when you know people and their culture. Whereas if you just look at them through the nightly news, as you often do about Iraq and, and other places, uh, there is a distance, there is a barrier. In fact, there are studies on empathy, how that uh, cultural barrier and linguistic barrier uh, is a real barrier to empathy. Uh, and I think the nightly news doesn't help in that. Um, what, what can help is a cultural response, is to get to know people not just as Iraqis suffering, but people with their complicated sex lives and their loves and their, uh, and their sense of humor and their you know, problems. So I think art can, can collapse that distance. And Hassan, what's happening now <coughs> on Al Mutanabi Street? Has there been rebuilding? Are those shops open again? Those booksellers? Well, yes, for, for a while the, the street lay dormant. It was after the destruction, the government didn't do anything about it. And then the uh, Nuri Maliki government used it as a kind of photo op to repair the street. So, yes, the street has been repaired, whereas still large parts of Iraq uh, have no electricity and open sewers and so on. So it's been manipulated uh, through, uh, through the government of Iraq in the way um, the, the rebuilding has done. But yes, life has come back. But the point of this project is not really just to talk about one particular incident. It's, it's to use it really as a kind of metaphor for the suppression of culture that can happen anywhere or, or um, suppression of thought. And it can, it can even happen in the West, but in, in, a, different, in a different way. Hassan, it sounds inspirational, the project. I wish you luck with finishing your play. I can imagine it takes many, many hours, but good luck. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You.